Hey, since I stole over here, uh, coming, doing a, uh, Average Joe Man's Garage. Um, most guys, their garage is their man cave, right? They spend a lot of time in the garage. They're able to clean it up, um, organize it. They're most of the time the only one in the garage. Me, however, I am not. I spend very little time in the garage. I'm trying to spend more time. The garage ended up, we have a two-car garage um it's attached to the house right uh, i have a man cave in the garage very little corner of the garage but the garage is mainly a storage we have too much crap and uh, very little room to store it so everything gets pushed to the garage so i uh made a post uh, a couple weeks ago video right about trying to be truthful the average joe man there ain't no point to this if you ain't truth about it so this garage is a mess uh, that's just the truth uh, we are cleaning it up my wife had a uh, garage sale she went to her mom's uh, last week she got rid of a lot of stuff uh, which was nice we're having another garage sale here this week hopefully get rid of a lot more crap so with that said the garage is cleaner than what it has been, um, but it's still a mess. I don't know if you can see all this crap that's in here, and this is actually clean compared to what it is. Used to have, I'm gonna walk around the garage here, used to have basically a pathway from the door there, and the pathway would go to the main garage door. That was it. As you can see, it's a little more clean, picked up. And that's just like I said, because she has uh, taken a lot of stuff out last week to do the garage sale. And it's looking better. I've been out here a lot more lately trying to clean up, organize, but it's still got bikes hanging up all over. Um, five kids, that's a lot of bikes. Uh, plus, she runs a daycare, so there's a lot of little bikes, too. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot of crap. As you can see over here, just uh, nonsense. So, as far as the average Joe man, doesn't get much time out in the garage. Uh, things get cluttered. I have my man cave, which is a very small, that's basically my man cave, um, it's clever, cluttered. The only shelving that we have in this garage is basically this, which is cluttered. I'm trying to go through it, get it um, cleaned up. As you can see, that top shelf, been working, getting stuff cleaned up, hopefully get, uh, throw a lot of stuff away. Hopefully put some stuff in the garage cell um, and get this place back to uh, where you can put a car in it. Pretty much. That's what we want. So, yeah. As far as the average Joe man, uh, this is what I got. Um, some tools hanging up, right? There's my toolbox. Uh, all the stuff is, well, of course, all cluttered together, but I got it somewhat organized uh, with um, sorry, ladders in the way. Like I said, trying to climb up to these shelves, get stuff down. But you know, there's my first form stuff. Uh, car stuff, washing stuff, uh, yard stuff, all there. Um, and then just kind of things are stored. Oh, I did get a second shelving unit thing that I put here that has a bunch of paint, screws, things like that. Um, if you, uh, earned any type of training, um, I used to teach uh, martial arts, so of course I made myself a training dummy, which of course is cluttered in another mess of stuff here. <laughs> Got my gloves on, matches my shirt, you like it? Got them on, uh, cleaning up. But this here is a training dummy. Um, I mean, these things are expensive if you buy them, so I made my own. So basically, right, had a pole uh, that was outside. Brought inside, cut it down, made a nice little base for it, uh, and uh, had some 
rods over the rods are basically uh, pool noodles and I have duct taped it all of course you can see the foam here this foam goes all the way up drilled holes in it to stick uh, these through screwed them in so you can uh, right punch it do all your training on this stuff yeah not gonna get all into that but you know do what you can with what you got uh, I utilize basically trash right so work from scratch that's what you got to do when you don't have the proper stuff you don't got the money to buy the stuff um, or you don't got the proper tools i don't have any um actual saw i don't have a table saw so basically that uh little table saw there is um what i use to cut everything with takes forever and very tiring um but you know so most of the stuff I do, as far as anything that I work on, it takes a long time to do it uh, because I'm working with nothing here. So eventually I'll have this place cleaned up, maybe get some tools uh, that I can utilize in here. But, you know, until then, basically big thing I got to do is get this place cleaned up. Um, I go days without ever coming out here. Uh, big household, basically every day is brand new which is ridiculous. Clean up the kitchen, for example. Go to work, come home the next day. It's like nothing ever happened, right? All a mess again. Dishes, uh, trash, um, counters need to be wiped down. You can have, this, have it all spotless. But the next day is a brand new day. Like you didn't do nothing. You're a ghost, right? That's uh, what happens as an average Joe man. Um, the kids, we do get on to them to clean up their own crap. But uh, that many kids, like I said, we got five. Uh, we're down to four because the oldest went to college. That was nice. So we're down one now. Um, but that's still a lot of kids. Uh, plus me, my wife, a couple dogs. Um, that's just too many. Um, if you're uh, or on a ship, you know, more hands on deck <laughs> would work out. But more hands in the household um, is a disaster. So we be as organized as we can, but in the end, uh, you're just one man. So you got to go to work. That takes up majority of your day. By the time you come home, fix up dinner. Uh, that's what I do normally. Got to fix up dinner, clean up. Um, shoot, by the time it's all done and said, I might have an hour tops and that hour I got to get the kids in bath, got to bathe the littlest, get her ready for bed. Um, and shoot, you got some downtime. You kind of want to sit down, maybe watch some TV. Um, last thing I want to do at the end of the day is come out here in the garage. So the only time I get out here is on my day off. Uh, like today, I happen to um, be able to get off at 7 o'clock this morning. So I got the whole day to basically come out here, clean things up. Uh, get stuff ready for this garage sale this weekend. Things that we got to do as a man. Um, well, shoot, even as a, a woman in a household. Very little time with too much to do. So that's my garage. That's what I'm working on. These are things you got to do. Um, I mean, we... Shoot. I even got a, uh, a puzzle box here that I started building, painting... Um, two years ago. Haven't finished it yet. I will. I will. So, but yeah, things you got to do. So, like again, trying to make these videos, trying to get more familiar with the videos, uh, trying to be truthful with you, right? That's the only way, um, to me that people are going to trust you and listen to you if you're 100% truth. Um, we have a mess. I have a mess. That's the truth. I don't have the time or the money to be videotaping in a nice, clean um, office. So, this is what I have. So, if you want to tell me what you got, you want to show me a picture of your messy-ass garage, um, put it in the comments. If you like this, uh, hopefully, uh, well, you do. You don't really know me because I don't got much videos out there. But, if you do, give me a thumbs up. Um, trying to get the subscribers as well. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have, I'm 
pushing out to do one video a week for now. I'll bump that to two when I get more time. But right now, I'm trying to find the time just to do one video a week. So this is my video for this week, uh, Average Joe Man's Garage. So we'll see you next time.